Hey, what's going on, everyone? NECA here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. I know I am. And the reason for that is IW4X actually just dropped their new long-awaited update today. If you guys don't know what IW4X is, it's basically like a modded client version of Modern Warfare 2 on PC that's completely free to play. Shout out to Xlabs for developing the game and all the hard work they put in on it. There's a lot of really cool custom stuff they modded into the game, but if you just enjoy the vanilla MW2 experience, you can enjoy that as well. If you guys don't have this game already, you can actually get it from the tutorial I made last year, completely free of charge. I'll leave that link in the description below. The quality isn't as good, but I'd still say it's the best IW4X tutorial. Easiest to follow, at least. But anyways, Xlabs actually just ended up updating IW4X yesterday from the 0.6 version of the game to the 0.7. I think it's 0.7.1 right now. This update added a bunch of really cool new stuff to the game, like the brand new groundbreaking feature to use emojis in game chat. But in all seriousness, they actually added native controller support, so you don't have to use the modded controller support from my last tutorial. It actually feels exactly like console now, and on top of that, they actually added aim assist as well, which is huge. It actually feels exactly like you're playing on like Xbox 360 now. IW4X is no longer amazing only for trick shotting, but snipers and red gunners and anyone who plays the game normally as well can finally use aim assist on controller. However, this means most of the servers right now are unplayable because they're all on the new version of the game, and unfortunately, IW4X doesn't auto update, so if you don't know about it, then you can't game it. You'll see once I click on the server list that yeah it's basically completely empty there's no servers really up especially the snr ones which are the main trick shotting ones there are still a few servers up on this old update of the game but that's because they don't really like controller support they're like kbam servers and i guess they just like the old update more or don't want controllers in their server or something i don't know but anyway we're just gonna ignore those servers and play on the ones that people want to play on but to do that first you're gonna need to update your game so today i'm gonna be showing you how i know a bunch of people have been struggling to figure this out i've been getting dms comments tweets discord messages you name it from people asking yo why aren't snr servers showing up anymore i think my my favorite comment I got actually was, NECA, what are you gonna do now that they shut down the IW4X servers? Little did they know they didn't shut them down, they're just hidden behind an update, so here, I'm gonna show you guys how to update now. The actual update itself is really simple to get, it literally will take like one minute, but if you don't have something already downloaded, you're gonna need to get that first, and that would be the Xlabs launcher. If you couldn't tell from the name, this is basically just a single launcher that you can open all of the Xlabs games from, that being IW4X, which is MW2. IW6X, which is Ghost, and S1X being Advanced Warfare. All of those games are free to download and play, by the way. I'm sure you can find tutorials on YouTube, or if not, they're definitely on their website, which will be in the description below. But also on their website, or in their Discord, which I'll also be putting in the description below, is where you're going to be able to find the download link for that launcher I was talking about. Literally, all you do is click this link, go to this page, click the download button, and boom, you're done. I don't think it's going to prompt you to do any installation or anything like that. It should just basically instantly download. You'll see it here at the bottom left. You're now good to just click on that and open up the launcher, or you can find it from wherever you say Saved it most likely your downloads folder if it didn't prompt you to like save it anywhere else when you open the launcher for the first time you might see this little thing pop up this is like updating or update successful if that does pop up you might be done but you also might not for some people it auto updated right there they didn't need to do anything else but i did see on twitter that some people got that and then their game actually didn't even update so they had to do it manually anyway if you do see that and you want to go test at this point feel free but you might as well watch to the end anyway to make sure it works you know what i mean anyways once the launcher is open on the left side you're going to see the xlabs logo then under that you'll see logos for s1 x iw6x iw4x and then a settings cog wheel you're going to click that cog wheel to go into the settings and once you're in there you're going to see an installation path in the settings for aw ghost and modern warfare 2 i personally left my update channel on stable because i don't know i like when my game is stable and not crashing and stuff experimental sounds i don't know i don't want them experimenting on my game if you guys are feeling risky and want to experiment feel free but i don't know i don't recommend it i actually saw a good amount of people on twitter uninstalling and reinstalling iw4x trying to get the update not knowing about the launcher and you definitely don't want to do that because like i said iw4x doesn't auto update so they were just downloading the old version again and on top of that if they didn't back up their players folder they were going to lose everything in their iw4x game so like their classes their vip and servers etc none of that was necessary at all all you're going to do is change your modern warfare 2 installation path which should be empty at the moment you're going to click the browse button to the right and you're going to find the iw4x folder that you've been playing the game from since well whenever you've been playing it but the old folder you don't need to re-download the game or anything if you don't know where to find that folder you can always just right click your iw4x shortcut that you've always used and close to the top you'll see open file location if you're on windows which you need to be on to even play iw4x you'll know you got the right folder if once you're in that folder you see a bunch of other ones named like main user raw redist players stuff like that so if you were browsing and you couldn't manually find the folder you can just copy and paste the path in like this and then boom you're done with that after this you're going to click out of the settings wheel and back in the iw4x and then you're going to try to launch multiplayer at this point right here if you didn't see it earlier when i brought it up you should now see that updating and update successful screen if for some reason you don't see it just close out of the xlabs launcher and relaunch it and then try opening iw4x multiplayer 
multiplayer once again it should work at this point you should see your iw4x loading up in the background and if you look at the bottom right it should say iw4x 0.7.1 once the game is launched if for some reason it doesn't say 0.7.1 you might have done something wrong like if it says 0.6.1 but you can just leave a comment in the comment section below i'll try to help you through that i'm no game developer though so i might just have to point you in the direction of x labs but hey i'll do what i can to help i should mention that you actually don't need to open iw4x by using the x labs launcher in the future it is a convenient place to open it with the other x labs games like i said ghost and aw but now that your game's updated you can just click on the iw4x shortcut that you were using before and it'll work just the same however even if you don't plan on using the launcher i definitely wouldn't recommend deleting it in case they drop another update in the near future or even if they drop it way down the line you want to be prepared and not have to download it again if you do notice any issues with this new update they're working on fixing those as quickly as possible the best thing you can do to fix these is let the x labs team know on twitter or discord both will be in the description below like i said and with all that being said your game finally should be fully updated so you're good to hop in a server and start playing i actually have my own private server on iw4x courtesy of the snr servers shout out to shocky and Ray's absolute kings but yeah it's a trick shotting server so if you guys are trick shotters anyone's welcome to come join up their server and hit kill cams anytime it is password protected to prevent griefing from random players but to put in the password you just go to the server browser click password at the bottom of the screen type in ogkxuc all lowercase i'll put that on the screen in the description and probably a pinned comment as well after that you're going to click ok and you're going to go into the filter and filter by search and destroy and try to find snr snd vanilla NECA's lobby once you find it if you already have the password in all you have to do is hover over it and click the join server button and it should put you right in if you do end up hitting any trick shots in my server i want to check them out so make sure to tweet them at me my twitter will be in the description below or if i'm in the game when you actually hit the shot you'll make an appearance in one of my future videos so you can be on the lookout for that i upload call of duty trick shotting videos every single day and we're actually getting so close to 10,000 subscribers we're at 9,500 when i post this video if call of duty trick shotting videos interest you mainly nostalgic ones like the back in the day cards like mw2 and bo2 well then you found the right channel so make sure to subscribe with post notifications on by clicking that little bell icon i also have a second channel where i upload call of duty daily as well as a twitch where i stream it live every other night with viewers both of these will be in the description below as well as my twitter and my community discord where i'm active daily on both if you ever want to game with me or anything like that those are definitely the best places to find me and yeah i hope you guys found this tutorial useful i hope it helps some of you guys get back on iw4x and i hope to see some new faces in my lobby soon i'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload Peace out, everyone. Knock out.